Delhi requires a lot of socializing. I don't do it. No, no socialist. Market reformer, yes. And very consistent with having been a free thinker. Let me see one office in any country abroad which opens the door and says, do anything, you can come in and go out as you want. It's not possible for whichever be the government, central or the state, to say, look, boys, I don't want to talk about economy at all, but give me your vote on nationalism, which is essentially what the summary of your question is. Is it possible? Is the voter going to be as much indulgent with you to say, all right, Modi ji doesn't want economy, so we won't talk about economy? I mean, who are we trying to convince? We have discussed to see how best institutions, whether under cooperative or otherwise to, when they call themselves bank, do they automatically bring in a certain confidence in the mind of the depositors that because they are bank, they are monitored properly, regulated properly, supervision is pakka and therefore we can put the money in. Does that happen in every one of the institutions which call themselves as a bank? We will bring in amendments to the law in such a way that when you call yourself bank, you may have to therefore be governed under the principles under the Banking Regulation Act. The difficulty in taking a call is not at the negotiating table. The difficulty is, and we are capable of leading from front in taking those calls, the difficulty is in moving forward with the reform-based actions in our own country. We'll now show that the commitment for reform happens fast. And that's where this mandate given to Modi 2.0 uh, will help. The entire government missionary is concerned as to why we won't be able to sense this earlier. So that when you try to redress the solution, it is not already on the cliff. It should be well before it. Genuinely try to help when you see a company getting on the threshold of stress with an intention of wanting to help the company come out of stress and continue its business as always. Now what is happening, whether it's a bank, whether it's an NBFC, the two cases that we're talking about, is it is much too late when you get to know and the resolution lies not so much in keeping it as a going concern, but to liquidate it. It shouldn't be so. We should be able to, with honor, restore a company and allow it to function like always. I had a whole lot of Washington Post and New York Times all saying, India, suffocating for media, why are you doing? Look at this North Block. I was in the World Bank. International Monetary Fund. All of them have the same thing. Media are requested to seek appointment when they come in. It's all right for them to have it there, but it's not all right for me to have it in our country, and not just enough for my media to criticize me, welcome, I have no problem with that, but they came down like a ton of bricks saying, India is now, excuse me, let me see one office in any country abroad which opens the door and says, do anything, you can come in and go out as you want. I'm not copying them, even within India. Have I stopped you from coming? No, you're welcome to come. But just let me know that you're just barging into my room now. I just wanted that.